A long time ago, next to the United Kingdom, there is a little island called Sodor. On the island, there are railway tracks. At that time, only five engines are running on the railway. And there's also a little blue tank engine. He is still very young but very passionate, and wants to see the world. This is where the adventure continues. like that. You're making your passengers dizzy. <laughs> Nonsense, you two. I'm just a little bit fast, that's all. Thomas, even without me, I think you'll still know where to stop. You're so familiar with your branch line. <laughs> Especially with Annie and Clarabelle. <laughs> Thomas loves his faithful coaches Annie and Clarabelle very much, but he couldn't stop being cheeky. Thomas has to wait for Henry to bring his passengers before he can leave. He waited and waited, but Henry didn't come. Silly Henry! When will he come? Finally, Henry arrived slowly. Sorry, Thomas. I don't feel well. Nonsense! You need exercise! Don't you know the fat controller relies on me? Come along, come along. But Thomas was in such a hurry, he couldn't hear Clarabelle. Come along, you two. This isn't very fast, is it? <laughs> oh, what nuisance signals are. Whatever is the hold-up? Oh no! You have to be more patient. I will always end up doing things wrong, Thomas. I'm sorry, sir. That night, Thomas returned to his shed. A new shed was built and given to him at Farquhar, so that he didn't need to go back to Tidmouth every day. Thomas wanted to share his day with his friends, but there wasn't anyone around to share it with. I wish I had more friends to share this shed with. Without friends, this island is absolutely the same every day. But the next morning when Thomas woke up, he found out that he had spoken too soon. Gordon, Henry and James are on strike, Thomas. They say tender engines don't shunt. I don't know what's gone into them, 
but the trains must be on schedule, so I'm wanting you to help with the shunting. Yes, sir. When Thomas arrived, he noticed he wasn't the only one there. Edward was also sent to help. Hello, Edward. Haven't seen you working around for a while. Nice to be working together again. Nice to work with you, Thomas. But are we able to sort out all of these? Ah, Edward and Thomas. Didn't expect you two here to be so quickly. This is Percy. Tenger engines do shunt, but I think we need another tank engine like Thomas to help with the shunting in the yards for the larger engines. Teach him how to be really useful. Yes, yes sir. sir! So they ran off and shunted trucks and coaches together. That night, Thomas brought Percy to park our shed. Oh, it's good to have a friend to share this shed with. It was a fun day today. <laughs> Take a good rest. Ugh, oh, you too. That morning, Sir Topham Hatt arrived and brought Thomas and Percy some news. Gordon, Henry and James promised to be good, so I'm giving them another chance. Now that the trains are back to normal, I'm giving you a day off. Thank you, sir. So Percy played with some trucks and shunted them to a siding. Waiting on the main line for the signalman to switch the point so he could go on, Percy watched as the trains ran by and forgot to whistle. Suddenly, Gordon, pulling the express, raced towards Percy. Out of my way! Express coming through! Oh no! I have to run away! At last, Percy ran out of path. 
He slowed down and was diverted into a side. I want to stop. I want to stop. Oh, thank God. I have stopped. Percy, you have to be more careful to work on this railway, or you will keep on causing accidents. And this will never do on my railway. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Percy, oh, running off like that, you are funny. <laughs> I would never do that. It's not funny, Thomas. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, you've got to be more careful if you don't want any more accidents. Or maybe if you don't want to get caught by the police. <laughs> oh, just you wait and see. <laughs> The next morning, Thomas was pulling some trucks to the quarry when he came across the level crossing. A policeman was there. Hey, you! How rude! Stop right there! Oh, I only said good morning. Such a rude engine and such a good morning. And where are your cow catchers? This is against the law. So, what's going on here? This engine is against the law. You have to give him cow catchers. I'm a steam engine. Don't turn me into a tram, sir. That is an excellent idea, Thomas. Huh? That night, when Thomas returned to his shed, Percy was there. Caught by the cops, eh, Thomas? <laughs> The policeman said I needed cow catchers. I don't want to look like a tramp. <laughs> you will look good, Thomas, with a bell dingling away. <laughs> Hello, you two. I'm Toby, a steam tram. Sir Toppin had asked me to help on the railway. I think it's something to do with laws and a policeman. Good to know that I'm not turning into a tram now that you're here. I can focus on my branch line. But actually, I don't even need to focus to run my branch line. You know, Driver said that I know it so well, I can go off without him. <laughs> it's not funny. I always wake up early in the morning to get ready for my first train. Just you wait and see. <laughs> The next day, Thomas was up early. His fireman stoked his firebox and his boiler was nice and warm. <laughs> up early and getting ready, just as I said. But Percy and Toby were still asleep. Wake up, Percy! Ooh. What's up, Thomas? I'm up early getting ready for my train. Oh, oh God. Silly stick in the mud. Just they wait and see. I'll go off without my driver. Thomas inched forward. His wheels moved. Wheel turn by wheel turn, Thomas rolled out of the shed. Woohoo! Look at me, Percy! Look at me, Toby! Off without my driver! <laughs> Thomas? Thomas was still enjoying himself, but not for long. Soon he wanted to go back, but realised he couldn't. He was out of control. Oh dear! Stop! Stop! Oh no! Get away everyone! Help! Ow! Thomas, what's got into you? Off without your driver? This is unacceptable! Never go off without your driver, Thomas. We knew you got up early, Thomas, but we'd never expect you'd go out for breakfast. <laughs> Enough joking. This is a very serious matter. With Thomas being damaged, this means we'll need another engine to help on his branch line. Hmm. When you're at the works, Thomas, a diesel rail car will do your work. A diesel?
the next day, Percy and Toby found out soon enough. Hello, you two. I'm Daisy, the diesel rail car. I'm sent to help. Now first, show me, Michelle. Smells are bad for my swerves. Bring me somewhere else. Oh, this is better. At least it doesn't smell. But please, take away those bumpy old coaches. Oh, we are not bumpy. And we are not old. You're not as old as that wooden box on wheels over there. And there's no need for these cow catchers either. They prevent cows on the rail. No sense! Bulls run if you toot and look them in the eye. Goodbye, I'm taking my passengers now. What about your coaches? I'm highly sprung, and I don't need coaches. The passengers will be much happier to travel in me than that bumpy Annie and Clarabelle. Hello there! I'm Daisy, the diesel rail car. I'm modern and highly sprung. You won't want Thomas's bumpy Annie and Clarabelle now. Oh! Do you expect me to pull this? Yes, this is part of your job. Take the milk to the farm. I'm a diesel rail car. I can't pull. It's Fitter's orders. I'd like to do what work I choose and no more. Daisy was enjoying herself, but not for long. Is that a bull? This should be Mrs. Cow. She belongs to a nearby farm. The farmer must be out finding her now. Don't you worry. It'll run with a toot and a look in its eye. Far behind, Toby was resting in a siding. Just as I thought, Bullseyes. Don't worry, let me teach you. Harder from now on. But the next morning, she still wouldn't take the milk. Sorry, it's Fitter's orders. I think I'll have to deliver the milk again. Percy. Can you pull the trucks from the quarry for me? I guess that's the only way to get things done, stupid rail car. Quiet and come along. Ah, uh, come along. No nonsense. Good. 
you through. Stop screeching on your brakes. You'll get a wheel flat. <laughs> Green caterpillar can't stop us! <laughs> Hi, Toby! <laughs> Crash him! Bump him! Throw him off the rails! Look out! Out of the way! <laughs> Oh dear, this branch line isn't in the best of shape right now. Oh, we have to find a way to run this branch line with only a diesel and a tram. I'm very sorry, sir. Take Percy to the works, Toby. Yes, sir. Oh, Thomas, the branch line is in a bit of a crisis. We only have Daisy and Toby. Oh, and it's all my fault. I started this mess, and just because I'm cheeky. No, Thomas. I'm not a really useful engine. I'm just messing things up. Thomas, it was me. No, Percy, I started this. It was all my fault. Oh, I don't even deserve to be repaired. <gasps> no, Thomas! Maybe I should leave and stop messing things up. But the weather is terrible! It doesn't matter to me now. What have I done? Maybe I should just stay here and be sent for scrap. Thomas! Thomas, do you hear me? Oh, Thomas! There you are! Percy? Oh, just leave me alone. Look at what I've done to the branch line! Thomas, you are Sir Topham Hatt's number one engine. How can the railway be run without you? And your branch line? Oh, anyone can do that. Just leave me be. I'll just bring trouble to you all. No, Thomas, you haven't. Everyone makes mistakes. It doesn't matter. Besides, how can I leave my best friend here alone? Friend? Yes, my best friend. 
Oh. Thank you, Percy. My friend. Now let's get you back on the rails. days later, Thomas and Percy returned. Sorry everyone, I have caused a great deal of trouble for you all. I'm terribly sorry. Thomas and Percy, you two did cause a lot of confusion and delay. But thanks to Daisy and Toby, the branch line ran as usual. We're very glad you two came back and are in good working order. On this branch line, there have been too many accidents recently. Runaways, crashes, bulls, and even going into Station Master's houses. I know you are all quite new here, and might be eager to work, but being careful is just as important. If you're not concentrating on the things that you're doing, accidents will happen, just like it did. Thomas, you must learn to be patient. Percy, you must learn to be careful. And for you, Daisy, hmm, well, you have to do what job you're meant to do and listen to the others. While Toby, being the most experienced engine here, should teach them. You should all work as a team, and that's why you all work on this branch line together. The next morning, the engines woke up early, and they all had work to do. Right next to me, fine as can be, we'll be on our way, sunny sunny day. Signals are green, let the silver ties gleam on the railway. Weather is fine, we'll be on time, travel as a boat, heavy, heavy load, schedule is tight, we will give our might without a delay. Signal is clear, line is all clear, there won't be a delay. In the valleys, fine as can be, we'll be on our way. On the railway. Fields of green, children's green, on the railway. Down by the quay, where else would I be? This is my day, coming this way. Boxes and cargo, ballast and loads from other railway. On my branch line, as good as mine. Happy, happy day, with the Thomas way. Birds are there singing, trees swinging, on the railway. Signal's clear, line is all clear, there won't be a delay. Thomas, Percy, Daisy and Toby work together on the Farquhar branch line. They may be young and have a lot of things to learn, but they help each other and learn from each other. They work as a team on the Farquhar branch line.